Okay, we make Vito Spadafore is running Ralph Sifferbrotto's construction business. Has Chris ever confirmed that? You wanna know something? What? This girl, she's totally ripping off her employer. Probably over a hundred grand. What do you mean? Tina Francesco's her name. She's a bookkeeper for this furniture wholesaler. So she makes up vendors, but she writes some real checks. Then her father cashes them. Is that like a federal crime? How many checks? I mean, how much? Like I said, probably over a hundred grand. Tina Francesco. The father's name's Victor. Brettler and Sons Imports. Apparently, there's a new president of the electricians' union. Tony sent Chrissy over there to talk to him. Something I've always been meaning to get straight. Tony calls Christopher his nephew, yet sometimes you refer to them as cousins. Yeah. All right, see, Chrissy's not Tony's nephew. Chrissy's Carmela's cousin. She was first cousin to Dickie Moltisanti, Chrissy's dad. But he was always kind of like a big brother to Tony, Dickie. So Tony calls Chrissy his nephew. It's an Italian thing. Okay. Although technically, Tony and Chrissy are cousins. Joanne Blondetto, Chrissy's mom, is Tony's cousin on his mother's side. But like way back, like in the old country or something. Robin. What? How much longer am I gonna have to keep doing this? Major Rico against Tony Soprano? Those things take years to build. This recent case against Joe Messino in New York, that was seven years before indictments were handed down. Tony's spending so much time at the club. You think that might have something to do with you? Oh, if you think I'm gonna blow this guy for your sick purposes, you are sadly mistaken. So go on about this phone call the other night. It's just some guy with a southern accent. Christopher grabbed the phone and yelled at him for calling the house. Said he'd see him down there. Down where? To check the log on himself? Not since I almost got caught doing that, and I am not doing it again. Wait till he goes into the shower. See if there's a 404 or 336, and memorize any other numbers you don't recognize. Oof. What's the matter? I gotta go to the bathroom. I know, you said. No, I, I, I gotta go. Number two. I'll take you to your car. No, I gotta go now. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, Tony had ducks one time in his pool. You need to find out where Chris went. I'm getting this vibe from him. Who? Tony? He's really nice. He listens. He's kind of attractive. Definitely an alpha male. But what if Christopher found out? What? I'm not gonna fuck him. <laughs> then what are you talking about? I love Christopher, and sooner or later, we're gonna get out from under all this shit and leave this fucking state. Jesus Christ. She's a good-looking woman, and she wants to fuck Barney Rubble? We really don't know him. He listens. <laughs> <laughs> Tony walked away without a scratch. But Adriana suffered a severe blow to the head. Adriana got caught giving a big guy a blowjob. And when the paramedics found him, she had his cock still in her mouth. The statistics shows that most single car fatalities are the result of guys popping their load behind the wheel. Apparently, he came all over the sun visor. San Severino. Guess who went down on Tony Soprano? Look at all excited. Most of it's from the accident. 
You okay? What do you fucking think? Kicked out of my house, I may have ulcerative colitis, and you call me up. You'd like your permission to put a listening device in your business. This relationship with Tony can net us a lot of chatter. Don't forget, it's him we're after. There is no relationship. The faster we get Tony and put him away, the sooner you can get on with your life. You can get a court order to install a device anyway, but this will make our life simpler. Fuck you. I do enough for you people. You're not bugging my club. Adriana, you just sit in your own, protecting abusers. If it would have been Christopher alone in a car with a woman, I would have killed him. You have kids? No. Your whole attitude in general. While we're at it, kindly remember what we said about interrupting to ask for things while I'm on the telephone. Okay, Mom. Hello? It's me. Hi, what's up? There she is. My smelly Valentine. Christopher, that's not funny. What the fuck are you doing? I can handle a cocktail once in a while, right? You guys okay? You need anything else? You're still feeling sick, huh? Please. They gotta replace a colon with a semicolon. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should be a vegan. Taffa says I gotta relax. From what? She's got the world at her feet. She walks around like impending doom. Come on, we gotta go. Don't listen to him. People got their health, they take it for granted. How's your thing, but... Just gotta keep an eye on it, that's all. So, Carmen and me, uh, getting back together, maybe. That's great. The kids will be thrilled. Yeah. When we get settled, we'll have you guys over. You know, family dinner. Feel better, huh?